to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today's video is a tech shop haul, which I know is a firm favorite over on my channel. And I have been topping up with everything that I need and everything that I find as essentials and some extra little bits as well from lots of different places online. As always, everything will be linked in the description box down below. However, just as a little disclaimer, anything featured from Amazon will be an affiliates link. Obviously, you don't have to use my affiliates link, but just I'm being transparent to you all. Also, if you can kind of hear something in me, I shouldn't really be filming this video today. I wanted to film it in a few days time when I'm feeling more alive. As I got home from my birthday trip to Monaco last night at two o'clock in the morning, I am feeling very shattered, but I'm starting to feel like a cold is coming. And I may be feeling like this because I am this tired, but if I feel worse as the days progress, I'm going to be very grateful for filming this ahead of time so I can edit it while I'm feeling poorly and upload it kind of during, just so I know that it's been done. And also as well, as I'm sure I mentioned, as the video goes on, there are going to be items in this video that are going to feature in another video coming very, very shortly with a very amazing update for you all, which I know you're all going to love. But I'll mention that more as the video goes on. I'm also assuming this may be one of my shorter videos. I don't know because I haven't started filming it yet and as we know I do like to have a little bit of an asset but um, but if it is a shorter video do let me know how you feel about this as well in the comment section down below and I can maybe work on making some shorter ones with some longer ones as we go ahead on my channel. Also as well this is an equestrian based video I know my videos are starting to change a little bit and, and, and introduce more lifestyle and fashion into them as well um, but there are going to be individual equestrian videos as well as always because that is exactly where I started. It's just as I love watching lifestyle videos and I do have I feel like a very nice varied life Life, where it kind of really does encourage more lifestyle and fashion in as well that you guys might like to watch that as well as well as other people um, that may like to come and join my channel as well so I'm really hoping you're enjoying those and I do have a pack with me video and my whole trip to Monaco um, that was vlogged as well coming very soon but I'm gonna get this one out first so without further ado let's crack on with the video if you are new here don't forget to subscribe and if you do end up enjoying this video please click the like button it will mean a lot to me turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload and I'll also leave here the handle to all of my social platforms social media <laughs> which is at scarlet martin underscore i hope you enjoy well i think i'm going to start off with this because i haven't seen one of these or held one of these in a very long time the last time i saw one of these it was extremely extremely heavy to me meaning i must have been about five or six i remember we bought um, a welsh section d from the clonarth stud and he was a little bit unsettled when we first brought him into the stables and i remember us buying him one of these and yeah i mean i remember these being so ridiculously heavy um but i actually bought this from nailers and it's a jolly ball um i did have a look on amazon as well and they were actually cheaper on nailers than what they were to Amazon but they are also available on Amazon um, it's arrived a little bit dirty but that's fine it's only going to end up covered in horse poo in a stable but um, yeah it has arrived a little bit dirty um, but this is for Truly um, I'm not going to say too much more but Truly there is something happening with Truly very shortly and a few of these items are for Truly as well personally so you will have to wait for that video but this is from a brand called Horseman's Pride um, and it's basically a toy for horses it's supposed to be indestructible and I actually saw some reviews that people with dogs who tend to get through toys immediately actually buy these and find them near enough undestructible anywhere at least it takes a lot longer for them to get through so I thought this might be really good fun for her to play with in the stable I got it in blue because the rest of the colors if I remember rightly were out of stock there may have been one other one and I preferred the blue I can't remember um, but I may actually end up getting one for Ringo as well because I do know that he likes to play with things as well so um so yeah that's the first thing in my haul is a horse toy <laughs> The next thing, again for Truly, however it will fit Ringo as well, um, but I thought it was time for her to have her first ever own <laughs> Lemure head collar. Of course, in the beautiful colour of Wisteria, this is the Vogue head collar in a cob size. I don't know how much longer the cob size is going to actually fit her because she is just growing by the day. Um, but she now has her very own head collar. Um, it's gorgeous, beautiful baby lilac, which Lemure have called Wisteria. Lead rope. This is just so cute. I just know this colour is going to look so good on her. I did actually pick this up from Lemire, um, but I will leave it linked in the description box wherever, wherever I can find it cheapest. Okay, now next up we have some products from Premier Performance. Both products are actually the same. I actually didn't pick these up myself. I've been meaning to show you these for such a long time, but this is now the perfect opportunity to share them with you. So as I was walking past the stall at the London Horse Show, so I have actually had these since December. I've used them before, um, but as I was walking past the stall, I was given a goodie bag. Um, so I have the Unicorn Carmen Cookies. 
as we can hopefully see here in this beautiful, beautiful packaging. Also the original Carmen cookies as well. So I've got one in mint and one in coconut. I have used these before. Um, I actually tried, yeah, and actually the first time I tried them was when I moved Darcy from my mum's house to Blackwater. Um, and she was so calm on the lorry. She was really calm to load. She was calm when she came off. Um, and I only gave her one. So I'm yet to fully test them in a situation where um, you know, you might need more of a kind of calm and less anxious horse. But from what I've tried so far, they are really, really good. And especially as I'm going to want to start trying to do some loading training with Truly, I'm thinking these might keep her really nice and settled loading and on the lorry, hopefully, anyway. So yeah, I do have these and I will be filling you in very shortly with a more detailed and honest review on these. But because I haven't fully, fully tested them, only in certain situations, I can't give you, you know, like 100%, oh my God, these are amazing. Um, but the packaging is amazing and everything I've heard about them is also amazing. Next up, picked up from Naylor. I've tried the kind of, uh, what's the word, like copy brands, dupes for these, um, and they are really, really good, but, but the reviews I always see on these ones are amazing. So I actually thought, well, I'll try the actual proper branded ones, especially being somebody that likes beauty as well. Beauty blenders and the takeoffs of the beauty blenders, beauty blenders are the best. Like They're better than, the, for example, the Real Techniques versions and other versions. So with that being said, I thought, well, they're on offer. I think they're on offer. I can't remember if they're on offer or not, um, but I did think I would pick them up and try. I bought these from Nailers, um, and this is the original Magic brush simply bright and I bought the pack because I thought that I could have one in the lorry one in Truly's grooming box and one in Ringo oh that box doesn't oh it's because it's sellotaped so <laughs> great unboxing skill Scarlett Martin this is what they look like and I must admit they do feel slightly different to ones I've tried in the past I think I've got the Shires version actually um, and this does feel a little bit more Bristy, but it'd be interesting to see because I might just be talking um, rubbish right now. But <laughs> from what I can see and what I can feel originally, these do feel slightly different. Um, we'll soon find out if that is true. Um, but these are upside down. <laughs> yeah, I've got these and I thought I'd let the, the horses choose which colour they would want. Um, I am assuming Trudy's going to want the pink one, being a blonde girl, but you never know. Ringo also does love his pink, so we will let them decide. <laughs> Next up, these are for my darling Ringo horse. Um, these are Turmeric Plus with black pepper for bioavailability from NAF. He always has turmeric in his feeds. There is so much goodness. <laughs> in turmeric um they're good for joints it's good for so many things and they're just they're just really good for kind of general health for soundness um i actually find that it makes his coat really nice as well and you can actually get turmeric with linseed in as well which again is amazing for coat um but it was cheaper to buy them in two as it is what it was for one so i have got two so nice and stocked up for the next few months and while keeping on the lines of feed i always put garlic in Ringo's feed. He does get sweet itch in the summer, more, suspe more specifically in one place. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you will know exactly which one place that is. Um, usually I and usually I do feed the granules. However, since being introduced to Naked Horse, and also if you are wanting to try anything from Naked Horse, I don't have anything here to show you today, other than this actually, because I do use this on myself. The only Naked Horse product I have with me today is the Regrow, which looks like this. And I pop this in my own hair. My hair has been growing like nothing else. I saw the, I saw the the results on Ringo and I thought I have to try this on myself. Discount code I'll leave on the screen now. It's Scarlett Martin partner hyphen 10 I think in letters now because the discount codes have recently changed um, but I'll also leave that in the description box um, but after being introduced to Naked Horse and also doing the uh, the interview with the CEO which I'll leave the link to that video up here somewhere she said that you know if you're taking powders and tablet forms even as humans you're only actually ingesting or you know receiving from that product I think about 15 to 30%, I can't remember the exact number, but it was in between 15 to 30% of that product. However, if you're taking it in liquid form, um, I think she said you get anywhere, I can't, again, can't remember the exact number, but anyway, from about 85 to 95, I think it was, um, percent. So I've started taking everything myself now in liquid form, as opposed to tablets and you know anything like that. Anything I want in my system, I'm now taking in a liquid form um, and adding to smoothies if it doesn't taste particularly nice. So I thought the same with, with Ringo. So I've actually gone and got the liquid supplement version of the garlic, again from NAF, but I actually picked this up from Amazon as well as the turmeric as well. So I'll leave those linked down below as that was where I think I found it the cheapest. I can't remember quite exactly, but that's where I got it from, so I'll leave it linked. But yes, that is his new garlic supplement, and I'm actually excited to see if there's any difference in the liquid as opposed to the granules slash powder. Next up from NAF, spring summer is on its way, <laughs> even though it's tipping it down outside, I actually wanted to film this video in my lorry at the yard or with my horses in the background. Wasn't going to happen, the weather is not quite allowing that today. Um, so I have the NAF off from NAF, the Citronella spray. It's a really, really good one. I do love the Naked Horse one as well. 
but it is a little bit more on the pricier side as opposed to these ones here. So for this, for, so for the everyday, this is a really, really good one. And then as a special treat, every couple of days, I will use the Naked Horse one because that's so good for the coat as well. It helps the coat shine from within and all of that kind of jazz. But for a really good basic everyday fly spray, you can't go wrong with the Citronella one from NAF. Um, more. Okay, next we have some more feeding supplements. Uh, feeding supplements, kind of, I guess. Um, this is linseed oil. Again, I picked this up from Amazon. And again, this was the cheapest I could find, so I'll leave it linked. I haven't heard of the brand before, but the, but the reviews all looked really good when I bought it. Um, and, you know, linseed oil is linseed oil. It has a horse's face on the front, so it's obviously meant for horses. Um, nutrition cold-pressed linseed oil. There's a litre of it here. It looks like, it looks like this. It's amazing. The coat, you know, and it's amazing for coat. It's going to be really, really good for Truly. Can't tell you why. <laughs> um, but it's just going to be really, really good for both horses to have some linseed oil in their diet. Well, I love to feed treats, and because I love to feed treats so much, they do end up going downhill very quickly, as in they end up empty very quickly. <laughs> um, also, my boyfriend, when he comes to the yard, just tends to chain feed the horses with treats. Um, however much I say, well, that's, you know, one or two or three is enough, especially before they get ridden. He's just, like, continuously under Ringo's mouth with, with treats. Um, hence why Ringo loves him very, very much. <laughs> um, however, I thought it would take me a good while, hopefully anyway, to get through these from, I think these are Bailey's, aren't they? Yeah, the Bailey's horse feed treats, tasty treats, deliciously healthy. Five kilograms, the cheapest place I could find them was Nailers. I will leave them linked as well. The best thing about these is you can actually refill them now. It says on here, new eco refill, five kilogram bags available. So you can keep the tub and just buy the bags in as well, which I thought was really, really great. Great for sustainability as well. They have a great handle. Oh, that's heavy. Um, and what I was thinking I was going to do with that, let me put it down. Um, I've got so weak, I need to get back to the gym because if I'm struggling to hold five kilograms, that's not good, is it? Next up, we have a stable rug. I think this is the stable rug. It is the stable rug. This is in a six foot. This is the Stable Tech um, Arika rug, Arika, Arika, from Lemieux. So we can take this out. I actually need to get my Sharpie and write on it as well um, because I didn't realize this until the other day because Ringo has these rugs. I'm think I don't know if it's on the Arika. I definitely you know it's on the um, kudos one um, which I'll show you in a second as well uh, I have little name tag sections on the rugs which I think is really really very cool I need to we'll have a look and see if it's on this one this is I think this is a hundred gram isn't it I'll soon find out yes yeah this is a hundred gram um, Arika stable rug for a very special pony <laughs> again I can't tell you why there's gonna be a whole update video I promise and I and I promise it will be very shortly incoming. Um, it hasn't been filmed yet, but it's, it will be filmed hopefully this week. I do have some other videos to come after this, so it may be in about three videos' time. Um, but hopefully they'll be coming up nice and quickly, these videos. Um, does it have the name section on here? Or is it just the new? It doesn't, but I might be able to find somewhere that I can put it. But I'll show you what I mean on the kudos in a second because I think it's just such a good idea. Um, I've chosen not to have the neck, but you can attach the neck to these as well. But these are just fabulous. I mean, the, the Lemieux rugs really, really are in a league of their own. In my opinion, anyway, I absolutely love and adore them. Um, and the 100 gram is going to be absolutely perfect in the stable for the very special Palomino blondie horse I have. <laughs> Again, I did pick this up from Lemire, so I'll leave that linked from Lemire. However, do have a little browse on the internet because I'm sure some places may have discount codes and things available as well. And while we're on the subject, I will show you the turnout rug I have as well. So this is in a 50 gram, and this actually feels doubly as heavy as the 100 gram stable rug, weirdly enough. And this is part of the Kudos collection, and this actually does come with a neck as well that's detachable. They're such nice rugs. Um, this also has like a little bit of memory foam style padding here as well so it's really nice on the wither they're really really heavy as well. the whole layout and design of these rugs is incredible even this has kind of like a, a, a what's the fabric like a i don't know it's like a padding again just so it's not rubbing the chest area um they're just they're really fantastic they've got like a three-way clipping system underneath let me show you what i'm on about this is as, this is as i find out that this doesn't have it either but ringo's does <laughs> So what am I what am I referring to? I'm sure Ringo has this on his rug on the inside. <laughs> this is as we've realised this is as we realise I'm talking complete nonsense and have been for a long while. Heck. No, I think I've been talking nonsense. I'm so sure I saw a name tag option on these. Wrong. Very rarely wrong. 
<laughs> this might be the case. Um, but that is the kudos <laughs> rug collect. But that is the kudos rug um, in the 50 gram for turnout. Um, so that's my next thing that I picked up in my haul again. I bought that from Limia, so I'll leave it linked. I'm a soft touch, and I actually picked these up before I saw the um, five kilogram one. Um, some more treats. These ones are from NAF. I've got the hedgy treats, and I have the blueberry and banana ones. Again, perfect for keeping in the little, in our little um, boxes outside our stables at Blackwater. Ringo adores them. I'm sure Truly's going to love them as well. So more treats. Now, the next thing I picked up was from a brand called Gold Label. You can get lots of different branded options of these and they do go up in price accordingly. But I actually thought this was going to be much bigger than what it was, but it's fine because I don't know how often I am going to be using it anyway. But for photo shoots, I've now picked up some horse products that I used to use in the showing world. Probably will use them for my dress house competition as well, especially this one in particular. But for photo shoots and things like that, these are game changing. This is the Snow White Paste. Um, it's a non-toxic super whitener for show horses and other animals. So white legs or white horses, in particular grey horses, but you know, more white as opposed to grey, um, or white socks. Um, <laughs> especially when you maybe have a rubber school or a school that you know transfers and kind of dyes the horse's legs a little bit, mud, etc. Um, it can be really difficult to get bright white socks without accompanying it with something like this. Um, the amount of scrubbing you need to do, the amount of shampoo you need, the arm muscles and whatever. Sometimes it's really good to just do a really, really good wash of the legs, get a little bit of this, with, mix it with some water and literally paint the horse's white feet. Um, you can use it as chalk as well, but it's better to use it as a paste. Um, so I have got this for Ringo and possibly for Truly as well, because there may be, as I say, an update coming for her. Um, she's not going anywhere, don't worry, she's never going anywhere. Um, but for things like that, for aesthetic purposes, this is fantastic. Um, have I said it's from somewhere called Gold Label? Um, again, I picked this up at Nailers and we'll leave it linked in the description box down below. Next up, we have platinum bands and I've just picked up some black ones. These were a pound, two pounds, three pounds, not very much money. Um, again, we'll leave a link down below. Um, these are, I always use platinum bands on Ringo. I go out, I literally use them like they're going out of fashion because I like to plait his mane over to keep it onto the right side. So definitely was due um, a restock of those. And the last thing I picked up, I feel like I bought more, but maybe I didn't. Um, again, for aesthetic reasons and for photo shoots, not for for going out and about in um, but as I say again for aesthetic reasons except from it's I've got a tag over what I need to be reading <laughs> this is actually from supreme this one's actually from supreme products and it is uh, very special products for showing an arena this is the makeup black matte um, I actually picked up and I will leave those linked as well a little tiny tube I might have shown you actually last year when I was restocking my lorry if, if I do I'll leave that linked up here as well um, but it had like a, a, bla a little tiny little tiny pots all stacked into one they all stack into one there was a black there was a white there was a chestnut there was a darker brown and there was a yellow for Palomino um, for spot marking and things like that um, which I picked up as well which is really really fantastic especially on the go just having something small in your pocket to do touch-ups but again for photo shoots um, especially in the summer when Ringo has that beautiful coat come through. I think having a tiny bit of little black around his nose and his eyes, it's just gonna make those photos look even more special. So that is everything that I have picked up from my tag shop. From my tag shop haul, as I said, I did really want to be filming this at the yard, um, but English, UK weather, tipping it down with rain, very grey outside, wasn't really the vibe I was going for, especially not feeling great. I now want to get into some cosy clothes um, under a blanket, hot water bottle and sit with a cup of tea editing this video so it can hopefully go out for tomorrow night. But so yeah, apologies on the very lifestyle background <laughs> with an equestrian video. Um, but I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any video suggestions, lifestyle, fashion, equestrian, whichever road you want to go down, let me know in the description box down below. Even if you want to see my everyday makeup, up, that can be arranged. <laughs> anything like that, whether they're short videos, long videos, anything like that, um, do leave them in the comment section down below. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, but click the like button if you did enjoy this video. I hope to see you very soon. As I say, the next two videos are more than likely going to be a pack with me for a holiday and my holiday vlog, and then the one after that is more than likely going to be a truly update because it has been a while since she's had an update, and this whole video is going to be about her and her only. So, so hopefully, you'll be looking forward to that one and have a wonderful day, whatever you're doing, and I will hopefully see you very soon. Bye.